Alright, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Attack of the Clones. Haha, <laughs> there's a joke I haven't used yet. So, okay, there's like two destinations? Well, I'm really, I'm really not sure where to go. I'll just run out one of these pathways. At least it feels linear. To a fault. Actually, the only place we can go. I guess we can just we can just drop in the cloud sea and just swim over there. Okay, I'm half expecting this to be a war point, so we're just gonna swim over here. Merciless bait, islet. Treasure acquired. Okay, I guess it's not a warp point for some reason, but uh, at least we have it on our map now. We got a treasure chest out of the deal. <laughs> that looks suspicious. Is there an opening over there? A bug in my face. This area looks suspicious. Waste of time coming down here. Well, I see a side quest up up that path. Apparently, okay, might as well unlock our first side quest here. Here, so, shall we? Where, where are we? Oh, is this just a is this a village? This is just a village! I didn't even realize it. How did I not realize that? Oh, hi, Austin! Austin's online! Yay! I like Austin. He comments on my new Nintendo games. Uh. Alright. Oh, there's another one over there. I sort of swum to it. Whatever. I mean, I'll drop... I'll drop... I'm gonna go all the way up to that island and then drop down at that island. Or rather, I'll drop in the sea around it so I don't take fall damage. <laughs> that'll, that'll just be amazing, so, so we definitely gotta do that. That was one of those fish that we encountered in Gormot. Ugh. That guy that totally jumped me and insta-killed me. So you just... Hell... Oh, 45. Not really that much higher than us, but I'm just, just gonna leave you alone all the same, yeah. I just love the atmosphere of this place, it's so vast. Wow! World has many amazing Follow the Toss Isle. We discovered good place. I agree, this <laughs> place does look very beautiful. You can, you can quit locking on that dude now, seriously. Okay, bring it on. Hey, who's attacking me? Uh, yeah, you can just screw off, please. At least the water's shallow. Hi. Okay. Bye. Where are we heading to? Let's path over here. You either go this way or let's go this way first. Just this is right here. Bye. Best to cover as much ground as possible and activate all the warp points, cause uh. Walking in these uh, super long paths takes a while, even though it would be fun to race across. 
a random little, little strip with a <laughs> with a treasure chest. Okay, let's go for it. You're all mine. I'm doing this place. I think this might be my favorite location so far. My favorite world in this game. It's really um, surreal. The one thing. There's one little gripe I do in my island. Yeah, I was just about to say each of these each of these islands should have a warp point just so I don't have to walk these super long strips. One minor uh, grievance okay. I have about yeah. this game is that all these different continents just feel segmented. Like the only way to actually travel between them is to is to warp, you know. Yeah. So like in Xenoblade One and Xenoblade X, the entire world was basically interconnect okay. interconnected, you know. At least based on my memory. Whoa, 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 wait, what? What? I'm being attacked by. Where? Where the frick is he? I'm being attacked by special? I'm guessing it's you? I didn't expect to be attacked by a random special enemy. Might as well try, am I right? I'm gonna die. Or dies. Well, I don't feel like dealing with a special enemy this early, so I'm running now. Goodbye. Random friggin' special enemy. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Seems like there is another strip. So what I was gonna say is, um... The entire world of Xenoblade 1 and 2 was, you know, interconnected. But, like, this game just feels more segmented in comparison. Okay, there it is. Oh. It's like, if you're just traveling normally, you couldn't, like, go from this world to... to cross back to the other worlds, like, to Gormont, or... um... Mordain, etc. It's like these different worlds aren't really interconnected. You, you can only get get to them by warping. Other than that, though, I really dig the open world nature of this game. It's really amazing. It's so vast and beautiful. Oral Cloudway Ridget. Okay. This place looks rather. Yikes. Wow, this place looks rather imposing, actually. I guess it's just a... It seems like it's just a little tunnel. We're gonna get to another area. Or maybe it's just the draw distance playing a trick on me. What have we here? Wait! You know, according... Okay, according to the radar, I'm actually heading the right way, so... Okay! I was heading the right way without even realizing it! Because 
this archipelago is formed of many smaller titans. The forces between the titans bend the cloud sea into this shape. There is a large titan as well, at the center of the cloud mountain. Yeah, I think I noticed it. Though, being within the cloud sea itself, you won't find humans living on it. The small titans seem to like clustering around the larger one, and that's what forms the archipelago. Wow! So many amazing things to see in world! Master Bun should get out more often. Working inside all day, bad for mind and body, you know. He's been out with us for a long time. Exactly. Staying inside all day are long gone. Yeah. You're a driver. Just like us now, Tora. Meh meh. Tora appreciates support from friend Rex Rex. That's our adorable mascot. Alright, this place is pretty beautiful. It's like one of those aquarium. It's like an aquarium, kind of. Yeah, case in point. Like, have I ever been to those aquariums where, like, there's a water tunnel and you can just see fish in all directions? It's like you're underwater. Except when the, except when it actually leads into water, and these giant terrifying fish attack you. Let me through. <laughs> well, I got wrecked. Are we seriously supposed to be heading that way? Not to push yourself too hard. Okay, how about we just not, honestly? How about we just head back here and go back that way where the other quest marker is? Seriously, that's gonna... It's gonna be ridiculous if I have to beat those terrifying things to get through. Give me a little bonnet. Am I going the frickin' wrong way? Well, that's a waste of time. This one the same way as before. So where the heck is the path that leads? We go. We're fresh and I guess it's again. just over here. I totally <laughs> missed it. Yeah, that ever Okay, that's the path I need to follow. I don't know how I just walked past it. Jesus. I don't know how I just walked past that. This this imposing right there. All right, this is a beautiful sunset. This is freaking amazing, this sunset. Where is the sun, anyway? Where is the sun, I say? Look at the shadows, actually. This is one of those games where the shadows are just perfectly flat underneath you. They don't, like, bend and stretch opposite of where the sun is. It's kind of like um, Banjo-Kazooie. This is kind of... That's how Banjo Kazooie Shadow Effect work, as well as Mario Sunshine. It's so weird to see a modern day game use this flat shadow effect. I mean, this is the same year as Breath of the Wild, and Breath of the Wild has Oops. the stretchy shadows. Piss off, please. 
Derridan's stack. Is there not a warp point here? We said there's not a warp point here. Oh! Well, you scared me. Bye! Yeah, this ran right behind it. Wow. That was incredible. I don't really feel like messing with anybody. Sadly, that island does not have a warp point. I'm gonna take the long way when I walk back to it. That's Titan on what I wager. Isle of Sleeping Remains. <laughs> All in one piece. When did it get so late? Oh, and I started glowing. This can't be good. Look out, everyone! That's a good way to gauge the, uh... Knockback, wow. It's a great way to gauge the actual distance between these islands. It actually takes from s around sunset to sundown. Like, like in real time, I guess. Why are those two different strips there? Strips here. Oh, well. I'm guessing this is the Titan. Yeah, because it like, goes right into the Cloud Sea. It's so, like, are both of those, are both of these, like, the same Titan? Underived. Love Cloudway, Rigid. <laughs> Mission oh, complete. Oh, and the Merc team has returned, it seems. It was Can we do missions here? Guess not. Oh, oh, I guess not yet. Oh! <laughs> I'll do it. I'll apply it fully. What's the plan, boss? Got it. I imagine I'll fit right in. I won't in. let you down. You just for the hell of this. That switch. That switch back to the better blade. You have strong defense. That worries me. Oh, we can do that too, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, that was a devastating attack. You're so close to a Chinese attack too, but it sucks. Wow, Nia, you're an idiot. Okay, let's run away now. I'll bash you a proper next time, I swear. It was a decent attempt, and you cannot deny. At least try to kill some of these guys just so we can level up Tora. Bypass you now, though. This can't be good. But you can't really chase me either. This is a rather vast field, isn't it? That is a special enemy over there. I'll make a note of you. I mean, based on that symbol, I assume you're a special enemy. Come out, come out. You're one of those shark dudes we found the very first level. This can't be good. Uh, okay, it's interesting to see you again, and you're totally wrecking my shit. This can't be good. Look out, everyone! Ghost, I'm all oh my god, you Jesus. bastard! Yeah, after I got away from that shark dude, I should have just let myself recover HP before I ran any further. Be wary not to push yourself too hard. I'll still either go left or right, it's interesting. We'll stick to the right for now. 
Okay, the left is actually a dead end, because I can just check that. Alright, snuck right past the Sharky. Alright, got out of his range. Wow. One cloud away, Fonzet. Alright, so we're at Fonzet. And that's where the other thing would have come out of. Those two warp points right next to each other. I guess just in case you want to go down the slide again. There's a enemy all the way up here. Special enemy all the way up here. Of course, we can't use this thing unless we kill him. All right, go on ahead and kill us. I dare you. Yeah, I dare you to kill us. Oh, especially when you have a little partner helping you, you cheating bastard. Yeah, I'll be a hundred years before we're ready to fight them. It's fine, we'll get them yet. Don't push yourself too hard. Let's just go head down there now. Trying to cheat, whatever. This can't be good. Look out, everyone. There's a walk around then. I am ready for anything. That's where the slide was. Oh, the ladder. What's up here? Okay, I predict there's gonna be like a heart to heart up here later. Otherwise, like, what's even the point of that? Oh. Huh. Oh, sorry for interrupting you.
Isle of Urchon. Whoa! Yeah, that's why it's called the Isle of Urchon. Yeshiva Harbor. <laughs> All in one piece. Alright, seems like a civilization area. Leave me alone, I'm in civilization now. That's right, you better piss off. Alright, here's a diving platform for uh, salvage in, eh? Hello, civilization. A special enemy who's a blade user. I'm gutsy enough. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, push him off the bridge. That'd be so epic if we, if we could do that. But that's still incredible! They <laughs> just pushed a special enemy off the bridge. <laughs> that, that should seriously count as a victory. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. All right, this has to be the hometown then. Yep. I can tell by the cutscene. <laughs> that takes me back. What the hell? 
You wouldn't catch me dead doing that. Don't knock it till you try it. It's how we all learn to swim in the clothes. You mean <laughs> you did that too? Yeah, of course. It came in really handy when I became a salvager. I can't stand it out there. It's not like me, but it feels like the clouds are wrapping around you. Mm, you don't like heights, either. Well, she is a kitty cat. Really quick. Hey, you want to give it a go? What? Hey, no! You get away from me! Don't touch me! Dang. Stop that, Rex! Don't tease her! Alright, alright. Honestly, why are you gonna grow up in a club? We've refitted the drivetrain to use Ardenian technology. All of the control mechanisms have been beautifully preserved, so we should be able to finish relatively soon. Finally, we will be able to compensate for our forces' depletion. The government struggle takes its toll. Sir. And there are no safety concerns, I trust. The explosion three months ago was most unfortunate. Or had you forgotten? We've been running a set of drip through the Titan's fluid since then. No further difficulties. We've also encased the back end in composite steel. That should withstand sustained enemy fire. Even if it were to be blown up, well, it'll be in enemy territory. A pitting victory, I'd say. Well, the crew will have escape pods. Escape pods? Are you sure you don't mean coffins? I mean... <laughs> Judicium. A dead nation that realized flesh-eater technology. I cannot say... I find their creations tasteful. I'm aware you do not agree with the principle of fusing blades with human cells. Few people do. Not what I mean. I'm sorry, sir. Well, then what exactly do you? It's said that flesh eaters were created in the quest for ever stronger blades. But is that really true? What I see in them is the shadow of a people scrabbling to prolong their existence. I look at them and see ourselves. That is what I despise. I will leave for Indol shortly. Much remains to be done. 